Today I will show you how easily you can do a custom swirl paint job on your quadcopter or anything else you like. Welcome back to the channel guys, glad you could join me today, I'm your host Eric. I recently saw some videos on YouTube on doing custom swirl paint jobs on lots of different things and I decided I really wanted to do one for, on my latest quadcopter build. This is how it turned out. It's not too bad, I'm pretty impressed with the results and I thought I'd show you guys how easy it is to do this yourself. To do this, you just need some uh, oil-based paint. In my case, I needed some spray paint anyway, so I went to my local Canadian Tire and I got some Krylon Fusion and Krylon Dual. Uh, pretty standard stuff, it's about seven bucks a can. And ideally, you would want uh, paint that's in a, a bottle that you could drip into the water, but the spray bottles, the spray cans work just fine. On top of that, you're also going to need some clear coat. I got this at Canadian Tire as well. This is just Krylon Low Odor Clear Gloss. Just standard clear coat, nothing crazy. So to do the dip painting, what you need to do is you need to start out with a bucket and fill it with some medium warm water. You want it a little bit warmer than room temperature. Some people add some borax to it as well. I didn't in my case. I lined the bucket with a clear garbage bag to make cleanup really easy. I took the bucket outside and just sprayed the paints on the surface of the water in varying amounts so that I could get just a good layer of paint on top of the water. I learned that you want to spray from a little further back, otherwise the paint tends to bunch up and get a little too thick. I just hung my quad frame from a coat hanger, went ahead and dipped it in through the paint. Once through the paint I went ahead and dipped the second half of the frame through the paint as well. After that it's really easy, just move the paint from the surface away out to the side so you can get your frame back up through without getting more paint on it. And that was it, and these are the results. Not half bad for my first try. Ideally it would be best not to use aerosol cans, but heck, I'm super tickled with the results of this. There's only one frame in the world that looks like this. It's, it's one of a kind every time when you do this style of painting. Let me know if you try this out. Throw a comment down below if you ever do this, or if you've done dip painting before. I'd love to hear from you. Have a fantastic week, guys. I will see you next video.